Hello, and today we'll be going over applications of the unit circle. Um, the first thing we're going to be looking at is the um, trigonometric identity, that is um, cosine squared theta. plus sine squared theta um, is equal to 1. So um, this is used a lot of time to identify the um, location on the unit circle given a specific point. So like the, um, we'll just go through a problem here. So um, find the possible exact values of cosine theta for sine theta is equal to 1 half. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the one half and plug it into our formula here. So we'll end up with cosine squared theta plus one half squared is equal to one. And from here we'll just simplify cosine squared theta is equal to the uh, cosine squared theta, excuse me, plus. 1 over 4, because that's 1 half squared, is equal to 1, and um, cosine squared theta is equal to 3 over 4. We subtracted 1 quarter from each side to get 3 over 4, and then cosine theta is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. And so uh, we just take our given number, in this case it was the sine of theta is equal to 1 half, and we plug it into the equation, and uh, we find our answer. In exercise set 10D1, problem 1C, it asks you to find the possible exact values of cosine theta for sine theta equals 0. So if you look at the unit circle, you know that sine theta is y, and cosine theta is x. So on the unit circle, the four points, the one on this side would be 1 comma 0. The one on the top is um, 0 comma 1. This one is negative 1 comma 0. And this one is 0 comma negative 1. And that's these four points right here. So if we know that sine theta is y, and that these are the four points on the unit circle with zeros in them, when y equals zero, it could be either one or negative one. So cosine theta for this problem equals plus or minus one. Okay, for the next problem, we'll be uh, looking at a problem that has the parameters that I was speaking about earlier. So for this problem, it's um, 3a on page 293. Um, it says, without using a calculator, find sine of theta if cosine theta, so cosine theta, is equal to 2 thirds, and it's within 0 is less than theta, which is less than pi over 2. Okay, so we know that um, in this case, pi over 2, given that we know the unit circle, is um, the first quarter, the first quadrant, right? So it can only be within this section. And uh, since we're looking for sine, that is the um, y value, uh, we know that since it's in the first quadrant, the y value is going to be positive. So that we, we can identify now um, it's only going to be the positive uh, number when we find the answer. So uh, let's go ahead and solve for it now. We'll use the same equation as before, the same identity, which is um, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. And now we just plug in. So sine squared theta plus 2 thirds squared is equal to 1. So um, 2 thirds squared is, of course, 4 over 9, so sine squared theta plus 4 over 9 is equal to 1. And um, from here, we just simplify and subtract 4 over 9 from each side. And we end up with sine squared theta 
is equal to uh, 1 minus 4 over 9, which would be 5 over 9. And then we uh, find the square root of both sides, which is um, sine theta is equal to square root of 5 over 3. And there's our answer. We know it's positive because it's in the first quarter, given the, the parameters that were set out for us. So uh, that's how we find our answer. So in the next problem, it asks you to find the value of cosine theta when you're given sine theta without using a calculator. Um, so for this problem, we know that sine theta equals two-fifths, and it is between pi over two and pi. So. First, if you look at the unit circle, pi over 2 is at the very top because that would be 90 degrees. And pi is over here because it's 180 degrees. So our answer has to be somewhere in this quadrant, quadrant 2. And in quadrant 2, cosine is negative because cosine is x. And if this is 0, everything on this side is negative. So we know that cosine is going to be negative. Now to find the actual value of cosine, we have to use this formula, which is cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. So if we plug in what we're given, we have cosine squared theta plus two fifths squared equals one, which goes to cosine squared theta equals 1 minus 4 over 25. And that is the same as 21 over 25. And now all we have to do is take the square root of both sides because this is cosine squared and we just want cosine. So cosine theta equals square root of 21 over square root of 25, which is just 5. So this is our answer. Oh, but it would be negative since it's in quadrant 2. Okay, for our next section, we'll be looking at exercise uh, 10D2, um, problem set 1, problem B. That's on page 295 in chapter 10. Okay, so um, let's just look at the parameters they set out for us first. So it says, uh, find two angles theta on the unit circle when zero. So zero is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to two pi. Okay. So now that we have that laid out for us, we'll go ahead and look at what it says specifically for this problem. B, it says cosine theta. The cosine of theta is equal to zero. 0.83. So that's a zero. Zero point eight three. Okay. So uh, now what we're going to do is um well let's just think about our parameters first. So zero is less than theta, which is less than two pi. So um two pi is of course three hundred and sixty degrees. So um our parameters are from here back to here. So it's the whole unit circle. Okay. So um no, all we have to do is just uh, find the value of theta. So what we're going to do is we're going to take cosine theta, and we're going to um, perform the inverse function of cosine, which is arc sine. I mean arc cosine, excuse me, um, on 0 0.083. So theta is equal to arc cosine of 0.83. And... Um, yeah, we'll just pull out our handy dandy calculator. So we'll go to our cosine, which is just second cosine, and um, we'll plug in 0.83, and that should give us, uh, so that gives us theta is equal to 0 0.592. So that is one answer. So um, we know that we're, since um, it's the cosine, it's, um, we're looking for the x value um, on the unit circle here. We're trying to solve for that. 
So um, if we look at it, it should be somewhere right around here. That is 0.592. That's what theta is equal to. But um, since the parameters given are the entire unit circle, it also means we have to look at the negative value for that number. And so what we're going to do to solve for that is we're just going to take the maximum, which is in this case 2 pi, and we're going to use 2 pi minus theta, which is in this case 0.592. So um, we'll do 2 pi. So 2 pi, which is 6.28 uh, minus 0.5. 92, and um, we'll just go ahead and solve for that. So using calculator, 6.28 minus 0.592, and that gives us 5.69. So those are our answers. They are 0.592 or 0.5, uh, 5.69, excuse me, 5.69. Um, given that we have the entire unit circle to work with, you just have to find the x values for both. Okay. So for this problem, we have to find the two angles on the unit circle between 0 and 2 pi. So 0, 2 pi, that's just the whole circle, um, such that tan theta equals to 4. So in this one, you get to use a calculator. And the first thing you do is plug in tan negative 1 theta, and you'll get 1.33, about 1.33, not exactly that. So that means that your first angle is just 1.33, and that would be somewhere right around here. But since it's the whole circle, you also have to take into consideration the angle that would be on this side. So to do that, you take pi, plus 1.33, and that would give you, let's see, about 4.47, and that angle would be right around here. So those would be the two angles you get from this problem, 1.33 and 4.47.